Hello YouTubers, the new time travel Jaime88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. Stay tuned. At the end, I'll give you guys the deadline for the voting. So let's get started with this week's review. This time we're going to look at Doctor Who, The Evasion of Time. My goodness, this is a best ending of season 15. I really love it. It is fantastic story. Anyway... This review was requested by Andre Grendel. Thank you very much for the request. This six-part adventure originally transmitted on February 4th through March 11th, 1978. And this is Louise Jameson's last story as Leela. The plot begins, the fourth doctor returned to Gallifrey after meeting a group of alien in space, bringing Leela and K-9 with him. He is behaving very strangely, and when the Chancellor Guard, under command, Amred, arrives at the Papakon chamber to interrogate him, the doctor demands to be taken to Chancellor Barossa, who is now in charge of the Time Lord. The doctor claimed the vacant president of Gallifrey, having previously been candidate and after the dismiss of Chancellor Goth, he is now automatically elected. Under the law, this cannot be refused. The doctor then chose presidential chambers and asked to be decorated with the leading Lenin throughout. Shortly afterwards, a ceremony is held to swear him as president of Gallifrey and... He is presented with various trappings in office. However, with a circular connecting him to the Matrix, responsory all uh, I mean, of all Time Lord knowledge is placed on his head. The Doctor collapses in pain. The Doctor is taken to Chancellor to rest and recover. When he gains consciousness, he reminds the Time Lord that no alien are allowed on Gallifrey and instruct that Leela to be expelled from the capital, Sinto, where she will have been in the wasteland. She trying to avoid banishment, but the doctor is seriously about enforcing it. The doctor now retreats the, to the TARDIS when he shares a secret plan with K-9, but is obviously very concerned about the situation he has found himself in. He is planning to aid an invasion of Gallifrey itself and to the end sets about destroying the transduction barrier that defends the planet from external threat. K-9 set about this task while the Doctor returned to pan Opticon, the Great Hall of the Time Lord, and laughs cruelly. The three alien beings Get, I mean, began to start materialize. The evading trapping, I mean, the evading begins, are known as Vardens. They appear as simmering manifests who made an alliance with the Doctor some time ago. And the Doctor advised the Time Lord, including the stubborn Barosha, to submit their new powerful and powerful master. The Doctor then asked Barosha to meet him in his office, and when this happened, the doctor explained he has had the lead wall to install to prevent Vardens entered their room. Although the ways of reading his mind, he sent Lilo away to protect her. He explained, and is now able to work with Barosha to defeat the Varden threat. A new problem ha has emerged. However, the ascendance of of sequence and complain Castler Kenner, who is being too far cooperative with the Varden Accompanent, totally yet abandonous. I mean, abandonous. Castellan soon has Barossa placed under house arrest and started the process of expelling troublemaking time lords for the safety of the control. Leah's meanwhile kept her faith. And the doctor, and the reason that if she, he wished her to leave the capital 
with good reason so she departs for the wasteland. She is accomplished by Rodan, a time lady who previously maintained the transduction barrier. They are welcome to wit the of a tribe outside who have reject the Time Lord society and live in the wasteland. Their leader, Nesbin, explained some of the background of this tribe. Back in the capital, however, things are looking grim for the doctor when a rag corners him and decides to execute him in the name of liberty. K9 helped the doctor overpower Aran and then explain the danger and abilities of the Vardran to Aran with his TARDIS providing a shield through the shield through, the doctor is hoping to persuade the Vander to reveal their true form so he can time loop their planet. Leela has also organized her resonance Mormon in the wasteland, comprised Nesbin people and the exiled Time Lord, all who own are drilled into a fight for soon the capital assault the capital I mean assault on the capital excuse me the alien and Kenner had meanwhile decided the doctor behaving untrustworthy the doctor reaffirmed his loyalty by agreeing to dismantle the final force field protecting Gallifrey from attack he does not fully disable but rather place a large hole on it the Vardens use a hold to proper evade Gallifrey and appear a humanoid warrior. The, manifest, I mean, the manifestation enables K9 to track down their home planet and surprise the Doctor with the correct coordinates he used to beam the Vardens back to their homeworld and then traps them in a time loop. About the same time, Leela and her warriors reach the Panopicon, but... The celebration is short-lived when the Centaurian warriors appear in the chamber. Gallifrey is now invaded by the Centaurian, led by Commander Soar, who finds Kellner even ready to pledge his support. Even the other time will remain resident. It is revealed that the Varden evasion was simply a mean to lower the shield in order the Saturn to gain control of the Time Lord's power. The Doctor and his party escape and the Doctor uses freedom tried to persuade Barosha into revealing the, him the location of the Great Key to Rassilon, a missing item the President regaling. Then the they regroup at the TARDIS where Rodin is put on work using the TARDIS control to repair the hole in the force field. However, Kellner reprised their resistance when he manipulated the stabilizer bank of the Doctor's TARDIS tried to destroy it. The, res the resistance force is heard by the heart of the Black Store. The Doctor managed to override the threat so the enemies changed tax. The Satorians assisted by Castellan to gain access to the Doctor's TARDIS to try hunt them down. The, pr the president and his friend pursuing through them the labyrinth control store is after the great key too. Knowing the doctor is persuaded by Barossa to yield it to him. The doctor used the distraction to buy time while Leela and the outsiders killed the remaining Sartarian troop. On the doctor's instruction, the hypnotized Rodin, I mean Rodan and K9 instructed a special forbidden Time Lord weapon. The Damak gun powered by the Great Key. The Damak gun erased the victims from time itself. The Doctor takes the gun and confronts Don, I mean Stor, at the Panopticon. Stor intends to destroy the Eye of Harmony, but the bomb is blast is canceled out by the Doctor and the man gun, the Damak gun to obliterate Stor wipes the Doctor's mind for recent events and also destroyed itself. Canel is arrested and Barosha began the process of rebuilding Gallifrey. The doctor is ready to leave, but Leela decided to stay on Gallifrey because she has fallen with love with the commander, Aran, the, the leader of Chancery Guard. K-9 decided to stay behind to look after Leela. They both materialized and uh, watched the target dematerialize inside 
the TARDIS, the Doctor push out the box labeled K9 Mark II, and then breaks the fourth wall for the third time in the serial by grinning and mysterious into the camera. Yep, this is a great story. I really love it. And look at this. You got the BBC video. You got the Doctor, the store, uh, Barosha, Leela, and the Commander. Here's the still pictures from the story. We have audio commentary by actor Louise Jameson and John Leeson, writer Anthony Reed, and visual effects designer Matt Irvine. Out of time, The Rise and Fall of the Gallifrey, the exclusive David Agnew, The Evasion of Time, deleted scenes, an optional for CGI effects, continuity, and so forth. Here's Dix 1. And Dix 2. Great story. Now, here's the deadline for the 100 video special. Come over here. Now, now this is your last chance to vote for the 100 video special. Which of these, my DVDs or VHS, will be number one? Now, for those of you who are new to YouTube, to subscribe to my channel and vote, will it be Doctor Who, The Demons, Monsters Incorporated, Hook, or Rocky Bowinkle? Make sure you guys to vote. That means vote very wisely, and make sure that because the deadline. Of this ends tomorrow night. So make sure to vote. Anyway, and speaking of that, that concludes this week's Doctor Who DVD review. Remember, if you have any Doctor Who DVD you would like me to request, feel free to leave me a comment. Next up, review The Chameleon Tales. Till next time, this is the new Time Travel Jaime 88. Standing up. Oh, yeah, The King's Demons. Bye.